Lesson 26 is a little bit different from the ones that we have done so far. Uh, in this case, on this lesson, we're starting to get used to the arpeggio playing and a little bit more elaborated than the previous, one of the previous lessons that we did before. Basically, the, the, the composition is on a 4-4 four, four time, time signature, that means four beats per measure. Um, the bass note is played by the thumb and, uh, and the first two strings play with middle and index fingers, free stroke. Uh, the speed or the tempo of the piece, I usually play it rather a little bit fast, but it can be played slow, obviously, as the other pieces do. And we, as a matter of fact, we'll start working at it slowly. Uh, then there are a couple of things that you have to be careful about here that I have to point out to you. The first thing is the, the thumb is going to play the bass line. So it's going to play the sixth, the fifth, and the fourth strings always with the thumb. The top voice, the high voices, which is going to be the first and second string most of the time, is going to be with middle and index fingers free stroke. Now notice that on the first measure, I go thumb, middle, index, middle. On the second measure, I always also go thumb, middle, index, middle. So the middle index middle remains basically throughout the whole piece. You won't see any difference um, changes on that type of co finger combination. Maybe at around um, uh, measure 14, which is the only time that we do a little bit of a index middle index. But when these are pay your part, the same. Um, also notice that on measure five, you have a broken line that connects from F on the measure five to F on the measure six. And it picks up again on the F on measure six at the end of the measure and keeps going through the end of all that, that line. So from measure five, six, measure five, six, seven, and eight, the F on the first string do not move. That's what that broken line means. It looks like a tie, but it's not, it's broken. The tie usually is a solid line. So the broken line just means keep the finger on the string, don't move it because you're going to repeat it again. We'll save time and this, the music will flow much better. Also, measure number five on the third beat, we'll put a D on the second string and also we'll have a broken line for measure five, six, seven and eight. So keep an eye on that. Um, the following measures are the same, changing uh, bass notes, middle, index, middle. On measure 14, we're going to bring our thumb down to the second string and play that D on measure 13 while we play middle, index, middle on the first string. Then on measure 14, again, the thumb on the second string, but this time we're going to do index, middle, index. Basically, you can also do middle, index, middle. So you can go middle, index, middle, Middle, uh, thumb, middle, index, middle, thumb, middle, index, middle, thumb, middle. If you want to carry on the same combination, middle, index, middle. Uh, then it goes back to the beginning. Uh, measure, measure 22. Again, on the third beat, which is a C on the second string, we have the broken line. That means don't move that finger. Measure 23 also. The A on the third string, with the second finger, we carry on that sound all the way to the end. You see the broken line. So don't move those fingers. Then on measure, uh, let me see, 22, 23, 24, 25. Measure 25, the last beat of measure 25, which is a C on the second string, is tied to another C on measure 26. So you only play it once, that second string, but the sound is gonna linger for four more beats into the next measure. We will go from C on the fourth beat to the bass note on the 26th measure. Okay?